Let's recite Namaskar. Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Teruan Sanna everyone Today, I'm going to tell you a remarkable story about a nun who walked the wrong path for a while and could change her life and comprehend the Dhamma and change her life in the latter part of her life. She was a being gallivanted in the samsara, the ocean of samsara and she was born in the four great hells and the human realm and the heavenly plains. She was meritorious to be born in the numerous times in the advent of the Sambuddha Sasana and accumulated a tremendous amount of merits by doing various offerings to the Lord Buddha and the Mahasangha. For the one last time, she was born in the human realm, in the era of the Gautama Samma Sambuddha. She was born in the country of Kuru, in the city or the, in the village of Kamasadama to a family of a Brahmin. She lived a comfortable life. She was very meritorious due to her merits. She was very fortunate to listen to the Satipatthana Sutta. She received the golden ticket to listen to the Satipatthana Sutta and she made a firm resolve to renunciate her lay life and become a Buddhist nun. She practiced a part diligently, yet slowly and slowly she got off the track without even knowing. Her life changed eventually. She started to go after materialistic positions. She forgot why she came to the Sambuddha Sasana. She was going after the luxuries. She was going after the comfort and hospitality. She forgot the pure intention and the purpose of becoming who she was. Dear children, just look at your life. You may want to become very good at your studies to become a better person. Halfway through, you may have forgotten what you wanted to become. It's not your fault. It's not her fault. She couldn't be among the noble friends. Nobody was there to help her to get into the track. So what happened was she was walking towards the wrong destination. She was going after a detour. And what happened? She forgot her purpose in life. They forgot why she came to the sasana. So what did she do? She preached very nicely. She wanted to be around devotees and crowds and get their attention and their praises. They, she preached and kept the devotees on the pedestal and she 
went off to fame and she completely forgot the four noble truths that she was about to achieve. So, my dear children, imagine she let go of her lay life, but she couldn't let go of her lay attitudes. Monkey in silk is monkey no less. She couldn't let go of her lay attitude. She let go of her lay materialistic things. She let go of her lay positions. Yet, the Mara skillfully laid a trap and she fall, fell into it. People who renunciate, who get into sasana, get into this trap. It's nobody's fault yet. It is the way. The sasana has a better target. It gives you emancipation and liberation. But what if we forget that and go after the four requisites? It offers the four requisites. But most of the time, we forget the value of the liberation we are after and easily get into the trap and go after the four requisites. That's the same thing that happened to Venerable Mitha Kali. People let go of mansions and when they get into sasana, they look for monasteries with comfort. They let go of lavish clothing, yet they go after expansive robes and when they go arms rounds they go door to door house to house in an orderly manner and what they prefer is they forget that and they go after places which offer them delicious and tasty scrumptious food without going in that orderly manner. They select houses. In their lay life, they are surrounded by relatives. And in their life, when they are in the sasana, what happens is they surround themselves by devotees and they get benefits out of them. It is the exact thing that happened to Venerable Mitha Kali. But she was very meritorious in every sasana where she was born in the sansara. She accumulated a tremendous amount of merits. So she had a lot of merits. So when the time came, she received the noble association. Out of thin air, she realized what she was up to. She realized her mistake. And then she thought, I have walked a life which is empty. I've spent years and years without fulfilling the Sambhadasasana. What have I done in this life? All I have done was walking towards something which is fruitless. I have forgotten the purpose in sasana. This body is a treasure trove to ailments. And I have limited time. I have to strive hard to receive the four noble truths. She realized her mistake. And then she thought to herself, I have to walk miles before I sleep. She told her to herself. And then she practiced the path diligently. 
without within a very short period of time she achieved the four noble truths so my dear children what do you see in this story you see the mistake she made she went off track even though she was in sasana she forgot the true purpose of she becoming a nun and walked on a different direction and yet because of the noble companionship she received and because of her merits she realized her mistake and got back to the track and she received the great arhantship i want you to put this into your life and see you may find similar incidents in your life even though you are not in sasana you may have experienced your parents might have told you to study hard do things for your betterment for your future for instance i would say why do you have a high screen time you know what i mean right you spend a lot of time in your in front of your computer in front of the tv especially you lose high scores for your exams why is that you get off the track remember the story when that happens and make it a lesson it's okay to make mistakes but make it a lifelong lesson when you practice the path you get a lot of influences from other people who who are ignoble and immoral people it happens but you have to be very careful and diligent to be among the noble companionship the noble friendship otherwise you get off the track people will say so many things your friends around you would say things to this to that this is fun this is pleasurable but you have to be very smart when it comes to practice whether you do it or not you have to be very smart when when rabbi mitha kali was around the devotees what happened was devotees praised her they offered out of metta out of the passion they had towards her but they got she got off the track without realizing what she received it might happen to you in different context be very careful be very smart what you get what you receive from the people around you you have to be very careful and there's this beautiful trick our teachers t- teaches all the time you become the five people around you so select the greatest five to be around with because end of the day you become them so carefully pick your people that you hang around with the most so these are very great stories that help you to make a better life so this story teaches us how important the noble association is this noble companionship is and how merits help her to become a better person she received the end of the day end of her life she became an arhant so we all it's okay to make mistakes i've been saying this in every sermon it's okay to mistake make mistakes yet you have to learn the lesson and become a better person out of learning from the mistakes only you become a better person so let's strive hard be among the right people and get right advice from right people and develop ourselves
मैं तो नोबल ट्रिपल जम्बे विथ यू